Hello everybody, I hope uh, you are okay. Uh, this is Poetry Grade 4, uh, Lecture 1. Alfred Tennyson. Alfred Tennyson is uh, the most uh, important uh, poet in the Victorian age. He was uh, the poet laureate. He joined the Trinity College in Cambridge. His close friend was Arthur Hallam. The relationship between Alfred Tennyson and Arthur Hallam was very intimate relationship. That's why the sudden death of Arthur Hallam caused much sadness to Alfred Tennyson. Alfred Tennyson felt a strong sense of despair and isolation and expressed this in writing a series of elegy poems lamenting the death of his friend then after a short while he got engaged to Emily Selwood but financial difficulties prevented this marriage to be completed at the time then Tennyson suffered from some health problems. Then he went through an unsuccessful financial business, which cost him everything he owned. This caused his depression, which required medical treatment. Later, Tennyson resumed his courtship or engagement of Selwood, and they were married in 1850. One of the most important poems of Tennyson is In Momerium. A second important poem is Ulysses and the Lotus Eaters. One of these poems is Ulysses. Let's start our syllabus by reading Ulysses. Of course, you know that Ulysses is the famous Greek hero of the Trojan War. Ulysses is another name of Odysseus. Ulysses, after finishing and achieving victory in the Trojan War, returned home to his the country Greece. During this return, he was lost in the seas for 10 years. After his return, he found his faithful wife Penelope waiting for him and his young son Telemachus becoming a young man. Alfred Tennyson manipulated this Greek myth about the Trojan War and made some modifications in this myth. Here in this poem Ulysses comes back after 20 years of absence from his home, his wife and his son. But this Ulysses feels the disgust of those people, his family members. Ulysses, in a dramatic monologue, is addressing perhaps the readers and perhaps his men, who are silent, saying, It little profits that an idle king by this still hearth among these barren crags, Matched with an aged wife, I meet and doll unequal lose unto a savage race that hold and sleep and feed and know not me. These are the very first words uttered by Ulysses upon his coming to his homeland, Greece, after twenty years of absence. Perhaps these words which are uttered by Ulysses, express Alfred Tennyson's personal attitude 
of the British society, saying that it's useless for a king to stay lazy beside the fire. Among barren or cold stones, married to an old wife. Also, he observed that the laws of the British or his country are unjust laws. And commenting that the race or the people of his country are savage, uncivilized people who care only to save and sleep and eat. Those people do not know who is Ulysses because he was absent for 20 years so that people who know him perhaps most of them have been dead and the newborn one or young men do not know him or meet him before then Ulysses continues his speech to unnamed and unknown listeners who might be the readers and might be his sailors. Ulysses is commenting that he cannot rest from travel. Ulysses wants to continue his life in this adventure at sea. I will drink life to the least. The least meaning the very end. He wants to enjoy his life till the very last day. All times I have enjoyed greatly. Ulysses felt joy with all the time he went through in his life, whether sad or good. I have suffered greatly both with those that loved me and alone. Because Ulysses is a man of experience, so he spent many times with people and many times alone. Sometimes were spent on shore and sometimes were spent on at sea and went through scudding drifts the rainy heights. It's a name of a place or islands vexed the dim sea. I am become a name. Yani Ulysses is expressing the fact that he has become a very famous and popular character during his uh, through his adventure in the sea for always roaming for always moving with a hungry heart much i have i seen and known ulysses is feeling proud with the places he had traveled to and the rich experience he got as a result of this travel cities of men and manners Ulysses had known so many cities and had been acquainted of many manners, climates, councils, governments, myself not least. Ulysses is proud that after all he got knowledge of himself but honored of them all. Ulysses feels proud that he was honored by all people he met or encountered throughout his life and drunk the light of battle with my peers drunk of battle meaning the um, celebration of victory with his peers meaning his friends or warriors far on the ringing place or uh, plains of windy troy 
Troy is a, a city in, Mod in Turkey which uh, witnessed uh, or which was the battlefield of the Trojan War. Plains uh, meaning the places, places or the land, the lowlands of uh, Troy. I am part of all that I have met. Ulysses expresses the fact that all the experience he went through is a part, an integral part of his character. Yet all experience is an arch where through gleams that untraveled world whose margin fades forever and forever when I move. Yet Ulysses still has another wish or desire which is to travel to the unknown world which no one has traveled to before. Whenever he is in his ship at the sea he is looking to the other side the sky he wishes to travel to the sky as he imagined that at a particular point in the depths of the sea the sky touches the water of the sea so he can enter the sky by his ship this is an untraveled world because no one has traveled this journey before whenever he gets nearer by his ship to that margin it fades it, it, it disappears in front of him forever and forever when I move how dull it is to pause Ulysses is disgusted of lazy life of stopping being active of living as inactive individual to make an end or to put an end to his life to rust يعني يصدي unburnished بشكل غير ملمع to be like an old sword not to shine in use Ulysses expresses the fact that he wants to be as a shining sword he wanted to be to have use during uh, all his life till the last day in his life and though to breathe were life life piled on wife on life were all too little and one to me little remains Ulysses expresses the fact that he is an old man who has little remaining days in his life However, he wants to spend these little days in making something profitable. But every hour is saved. Every hour is remaining in his life from that eternal silence, from that death. Something more. There is something more that he can do. A bringer of new things. Every remaining day in his life can be a bringer of new thing. And while it were for some three sons to store and hoard myself and this gray spirit yearning in desire, graining a gray spirit is a symbol of his old age. However, he yearns, he has a strong wish to follow knowledge like a sinking star you know the scene of the sun during the sunset on the sea we feel that half of the sun is sinking in the water of the sea Ulysses wants to sink in knowledge as the sun sinks in the sea beyond the utmost bound of human thought then Ulysses refers to his son 
saying that this is my son my own telemachus to whom i leave the sculpture and the isle ulysses submits and gives up his kingdom to his own lovely son telemachus well loved of me ulysses confesses the fact that he loves his own son discerning yani seeing to fulfill this labor ulysses suggested that his son is more suitable than him in fulfilling the job of the king by slow prudence to make mild the rugged people and through soft degrees subdue them to a useful and the good ulysses sees that his son is more patient so that he can slowly civilize those uh, savage people step by step most uh, blameless is he ulysses expresses the fact that he cannot blame his son because his son found himself as a child in the center of duty so he cannot and he could not refuse this duty centered in the sphere of common duties decent not to fail in offices of tenderness ulysses is praising his son that he is a polite person who can succeed in tender jobs and pay me adoration to my household gods ulysses is greeting the gods of his home when i am gone he works his work and mine there lies the port ulysses is referring to the harper the vessel puffs off her sail the ship starts her sail there gloom the dark broad seas ulysses addresses directly his mariners or his sailors saying my mariners my sailors my colleagues my friends souls that have toiled you have souls that worked a lot and wrote and become weary become tired of this work and thought with me you participated with me in my thinking that ever with a frolic welcome took the thunder and the sunshine the friends and the sailors accompanying ulysses welcome with happiness both bad times and good times and the opposed the free horse free for at you and i are old ulysses expresses the fact that he and his sailor men are old people yet old age had yet his honor and his toil however they still have some work to do death closes all here ulysses expresses the fact that he knows quite well that death is the close end of everything but something ere the end however there is something before the end of life that one can do some work of noble note may yet be done not unbecoming a man that strove with gods ulysses expresses the fact that he has no desire to have a conflict or to struggle against the gods of his country the lights begin to twinkle from the rocks long day wanes the day be, um, starts to become weaker and the night is coming the slow moon climbs the moon emerges and appears in the sky the deep moans round those many voices people produce sounds that expresses their tiresome 
Come, my friends, it's not too late to seek a newer world. Push off. And sitting well in order, Smith the sound furrows for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the path of all the western stars. Here Ulysses expresses in a direct way his wish to his men that he wants to uh, travel to the other world behind the sun in order to enter the sky or heaven of all the western stars until I die. Ulysses expresses the fact that he wants to continue traveling till the moment of his death. It may be that the gulfs will wash us down. Ulysses is suggesting the fact that they might not succeed in their attempt or adventure and they might die uh, sinking in the sea or might drown in the sea it may be we shall touch the happy isles yani it might be they succeed in reaching heavens and see the great Achilles whom we know Achilles is another hero of a Trojan the Trojan war in Greece though much is taken much abides much is taken from their lives, however, they still have much to do. And though we are not now that strength which in all the days moved the earth and the heaven, Ulysses is addressing his sailors that uh, they admit and confess the fact that they have no the power they enjoyed before that which we are we are one equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and defeat they lost those people lost their power by the working of time and fate but strong and well to strive to seek to find and not to yield this is a reading of the lines of Ulysses and followed by this poem is a critical appreciation that we are going to study during the actual ver uh, lecture in the class uh, next week inshallah thank you and goodbye